Now, what do you mean by methods of costing? Normal laws always remember it has to be calculated on input. Now, if the answer is a negative or minus value, then it will be what? Abnormal gain. 500 minus 75. Into 25, if you do your calculation, you got abnormal gain answer. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 7 of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are discussing the topic Methods of Costing. Now, what do you mean by Methods of Costing? In this, under Methods of Costing, we will discuss about your process costing. Under process costing, we have three process and how do we go for norm, abnormal loss and abnormal gain. Your concept, your problem as well as process costing. Problem, XYZ company produces a product which passes through three process A, B and C. The following are the information available in the cost record of the company. These are the informations we have. Under particular, we have material, wages, normal loss as per the percentage, and value of scrap per kg, and output in kilo kg. Now, normal loss, always remember, it has to be calculated on input. Now, so while doing process A, don't see process B and process C. Now, in the process A, 800 kgs of raw material were introduced at rupees 20 per factory, 20 per kg. Factory overhead are absorbed 80% of the direct wages. Prepare process account showing cost per unit at each process. Now, in this factory overhead, how do we calculate the factory overhead is 80% of the direct wages. What is your direct wages? 9,000. On 9,000, 80% we should calculate. Clear? Yes. Now, so this, these are your process here. Material will come under debit side. Wages, debit. Normal loss, credit. Yep. Value of scrap. Whatever normal loss we get, for that we multiply and output in kilos. Now, your process A is your raw material, how much? I'll go back to question. Your raw material, we have 800 kgs of 20 each. 800 into 20. 800 into 20, we got around 16,000. After that, we have material and we have wages. Now, we have material and we have Wages, material we have and wages also we have. What is the overhead? As per the question, the overhead is raw material were introduced 20% and factory overhead is 80% of the direct wages. Now, what is your direct wages? 9000. On that, what is the percentage? 80%. You calculated all your debit side is done. What about credit side? Now, your normal loss as per the question, they have given 10%. Now it will be 10% what? 800 into 10%, it will be 80. So we calculated 80. Now, what is the value of normal loss? I'll go back. It is 10% and the value is zero. Now, 10% and the value is, we will not multiply anything. The value is zero. Now. Once you done with this, your abnormal loss and process B, how to find out? I'll go back to question. Your output is how much? 650. Output is 650. What is the total? 800. 800 minus 80 and 650. I'll show you. 800 minus 80 minus 650. 50, how much you will get? You will get 150, around 70 you will get. This 70 will be called as normal loss. 
how much we got 70 if the answer is negative or minus value then it will be what abnormal gain if the answer is positive abnormal loss remember your 800 minus this and this you got 70 that 70 we call it as abnormal loss this is also done now these two we have to find out how to find out simple in the previous session i told you what are the number of units i'll show you in the different color yeah number of units 800 800 minus normal loss minus 80 800 minus 80 now what is the total the total is 43200 43200 minus do you have anything no zero this will be 720 this will be 43200 there is a procedure to find out your abnormal loss amount we know your abnormal loss is 70 we don't know how much how come you got 4200 i'll show you the working note see 800 minus 80 it is 720 minus 650 you got abnormal loss of 70. now in this abnormal loss 43200 minus 720 what is your abnormal loss 70 your calculation is 4200 again i'll show you this 43 200 720 and your abnormal loss is 70 how to calculate 43 200 divided by 720 into 70 your answer is 43200 hope you are clear yes so we got answer of 4200 now similarly we'll go for process b before that we'll close this your process A, process A, how to close? Your total of income is 43,200, yes. Write 43,200 here, yes. From 43,200 minus 4,200, your answer is 39,000 balancing figure. Now, so these two are your output and output will be input for next process, see? Your 650 and 39,000 will be your input. Again, same procedure. Your material and your wages and normal loss is 20% and sold at 8 rupee, output is 500. Remember these numbers 6,440, 10,000, factory overhead, 80% of this. It is 8,000. Now, your normal loss. Normal loss, how to calculate, I'll show you. So what is the percentage? 20. 650 into 20%, you got 130. You sold at 8 rupee. 130 into 8, 1040. So what is your output? Your process C output is 500. Now, how to find out abnormal loss or abnormal gain? Take your total. 650 minus this and this minus 130 and minus 500 so you will get around 20 abnormal loss so you got abnormal loss also how to find out the amount you know very well what is your unit 650 what is the number of units here? 130. 650 minus 130, you got 520. What is the value? 63, 440. How much is this? 1040. It will be around 62,400. Hope you are clear. Good. You got 62. 400 and you got 520. Now we go with this 62 400 divided by 520 into 20 you got 2400. Now so you got 2400 right. How come this 60,000 from total you minus 1040 
2400 you will get 60000 hope you are clear as yes. we got your answer this is your process 2 process 3 your 500 and 60000 will be opening balance 500 and 60000 is your opening balance now for that again material add wages add 80% factory overhead add this side you come 15% normal loss on 500 15% normal loss you will get 75 you are selling at rupees 10 multiply with 10 you got 75 and 750 you got 75 and 750 now again same procedure you know what is your closing 450 now what is the total 525 So five hundred is your total actually five hundred. I'll show you the working note only. Five hundred is your total. In this seventy five is your normal loss. You got four twenty five minus four fifty is your closing. See actual output. Input minus normal loss. You will get normal output minus actual output. You got twenty five. Unit. This is what abnormal gain. Abnormal gain comes means credit side or debit side. Debit side. So we have taken twenty five debit side. How to find out amount? Simple. You have five hundred minus seventy five. Five hundred minus seventy five. What is the total of all expenditure? Minus seven fifty. Total of all expenditure minus seven hundred and fifty. Remember, total of all expenditure minus seven hundred and fifty is your answer. Now, so it will be. I'll go for the calculation. Eighty five eight hundred minus seven fifty five hundred minus seventy five. I'll show you the working note. Five hundred minus seventy five. Into twenty five. If you do your calculation, you got abnormal gain answer five thousand three. So we have taken five thousand three. Now total the balancing figure will be your closing stock. Hope you are clear. So it looks little complicated, but you work out once it is easy actually. So next session I'll go with a self-explanatory problem. Like I'll come with question and I'll solve complete problem on the board so that how to solve you will get to know. I need the presentation should be like this. That's why I came up with answers. Next session I'll go with question answer complete answer I'll solve on the board so that you will understand what come next after. This step by step, you will understand better. Now, I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So these are your agenda, your problem, solution part one, solution process B, solution process C. So these are your solution of how to find out abnormal loss and abnormal gain. These are your calculation. What is the value of abnormal loss, and what is the value of abnormal gain? So these are your working note to find out production overhead. Wherever you have wages, on that we have taken eighty percent. R S directly nine is to thirteen is to seventeen. Also, you can take. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out at home without working out. Just watching videos, you will not understand anything. Thank you.